y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. I am going to show you how to apply your HTV to the felt Valentine envelopes from Hobby Lobby. Now, these are $3.99 a pack, and typically they run on 40 to 60% off a lot of times, and I figured it would just be something cute to show you how to do it. Um, I have already pre-cut the vinyl. This is just white Thermoflex Plus, and the font that I used is neon, and I did it in all caps. The design is 11 and a half inches wide by a, just a little, a hair over two inches tall. We have the heat press preheating for 330 degrees for 15 seconds. So you're also gonna need your Easy Weed and Wooden Pick, your Teflon sheet, and if you're interested in purchasing the vinyl, remember we do have a sale going on right now on our website that if you use the code BE MINE, B E M I N E, all caps, one word, you can save 14% off your purchase. It's just a way to say we love you since y'all have supported us and we have grown to now over 90,000 subscribers. So if you'll give me a minute to get the camera angle changed, I will show you everything that we are going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and trim off the excess vinyl so that way we can save that for another project because you never know when you're going to need a tiny little piece of white. So we're going to start by weeding off all the vinyl though that we're not going to need for this. going kind of slowly so that way we because this is a more delicate font I wanted to do something a tad bit different than what we typically do. There we go. So as you can see, it has that look of almost the glow of neon letters. And I think this font came from Craft Bundles. It either came from Craft Bundles or the Hungry JPEG. I have so many files and fonts all over the place. It's so difficult to remember exactly which one it came from. There we go. I just wanted something a little bit different. Okay.
it looks more compli complicated than what it actually is. It's just remembering which pieces to move. And typically, the easiest way to see where you're pulling up your pieces is if you know where your areas of solid are. So like see how the center of the A is, the actual A letter itself is solid, like this. So where the cut lines are right next to it, that is what you're going to want to remove. So there we go. So now that is all weeded. All the little pieces look good. Let me fix that one little part on that U. There we go. And those little tails. Now I need to cut these apart. And you can decorate it more than just what I'm doing. This is just a simple tutorial to kind of show you how to do this. Okay, so. The, the reason why I made the design 11 and a half inches wide, well, that is the widest that the Cricut will cut. But on top of that, the envelope is just a little over 12 inches wide. So I'm going to take and lay that where the ribbon is hanging off. And as you can see, I cut it where it lines up the edge of the Y and the edge of the A with the seam on the envelope. So now we're gonna grab our T-shirt guide. Okay, that's pretty straight. And if you ignore this seam up here, because that doesn't always look like it, if you see it, it is not perfectly straight. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. Let's measure. Taking. Okay, that is a little over three from the bottom of the letter. Perfect, a little over three. So now that is nice and centered on the front of our envelope. There we go. Now we're going to take and cover with our Teflon sheet. The heat press is at actually 329 degrees and my timer is set for 35 seconds, but I'm gonna stop it at 20 because that makes it 15 seconds. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and take and remove the clear layer. And you could easily use a girlier font if you're doing it for a little girl. You can choose whatever font you want. Now we're going to reheat it again for 15 seconds and then it is done. And I always reheat after the fact just to make sure everything is nice and adhered. Okie dokie. Look how cute that turned out. A little piece of black vinyl. It must have stuck, which is not a big deal. But as you can see, gotta wait for it to cool so I can separate the Velcro. the Velcro is stuck together. There it goes. Okay. But as you can see, loosen it from the back because you want to go ahead and do that because this fabric is so thin, if you don't make sure to remove it like that, then it will stick together and it will kind of, ah, almost kind of be permanently stuck together. But now we have a cute envelope, makes a great classroom gift. 
something that is a keepsake. You can also use it at home, but look how cute that turned out. Super simple, super inexpensive. So remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is where I do the crafting for Disney and all different kinds of things. But other than that, I think that's it. So we'll see you on, which is Betsy Gocher. <laughs> I almost forgot that. But we'll see you on the next one. Bye.